Welcome back to Jade's Corner, the channel where I provide high quality and thought provoking Teen Wolf content. In today's video, I'll be explaining every single one of the Nogitsune's forms in the Teen Wolf franchise from season three, part two, and the newly released Teen Wolf, the movie. So to begin, we're gonna start off with the most well-known form of the Nogitsune, which is the Corporal Reese form. So the Corporal Reese form, right, in appearance, it's basically Corporal Reese, who was a soldier in World War II and a former lover of Noshiko Yukimura. But instead of looking like a normal human, he has his chrome fangs and his face and pretty much body overall is covered in bandages, looking kind of like a mummy. So how this form came to be originally was that Noshiko wanted to use the Nogatsune, the one that we all know from season three that possessed styles, to possess her body after Corporal Reese was killed. And she wanted to take revenge on the um, American soldiers who were uh, doing bad things in her concentration camp during World War II with all the other um, uh, Japanese people that were being held captive there. And instead of taking over her body, it ended up, the, the Nogatsune spirit ended up taking up the body of Corporal Reese. And that's how we had that Corporal Reese form. So that's essentially that form explained um, to kick things off and get that out of the way. So the next form I want to talk about is, of course, Style Stalinsky. Now, this is probably the most simplified form and most confusing form for most people at the same time, because from what I've seen online in discourses, most people consider void styles to just be styles possessed by the Nogatsune. And while you're right in some aspects, void styles is, a, is an entirely different thing um, altogether. So um, to talk about the Style Stalinsky form, right? The Style Stalinsky form is very simple. It's just styles possessed by the Nogatsune and nothing more. There's really no physical alterations with um, styles being, you know, possessed by the Nogatsune, although he does get a lot of the Nogatsune's overall powers. He gets his teleportations, he gets his illusion casting, and pretty much everything the Nogatsune would have on his own styles has too, um, including his super strength as he was able to pretty much deal with Derek Hale with ease, a werewolf with plenty of experience fighting and, you know, a werewolf that's pretty strong within his own right. Uh, he was able to also control electricity to a minor degree, being able to nullify Allison's taser with um, seconds while she tried to shoot him with it. And he was also able to heal from self-mutilation. Like when he went into the basement of Eichenhaus to confront Noshiko about the uh, tails, the Kitsune tails, um, he cut his stuff, he cut his stomach open, but he was able to regenerate it seconds later with like no issues whatsoever. So those are all the perks and, you know, pretty much the style, the Linsky form of the Nogatsune explain, you know, while the Nogatsune is actually in style's body. Now, here's the most confusing part of the Nogatsune, which is the third form, which is the actual void styles form of the Nogatsune. So this form of the Nogatsune, a lot of people gloss over it gloss over this, which is kind of crazy to me because it's literally shown on screen how this form works, um, is the Nogatsune, once he completely split from Styles in season two, season three, episode 22, Devoid. Now, when they were able to free Styles from the Nogatsune's mind, um, the Nogatsune escaped Styles' body, but made a clone of Styles um, physically, and that was just the Nogatsune just in Styles' form. So essentially what that version of the Nogatsune is, is that it's the Nogatsune itself, like not being, not possessing anyone, but instead of being in the corporal reach form, kind of like how we see in Teen Wolf, the movie, when it's not possessing a host, it instead decided to take the host, take the form of styles and continue to cause havoc and mayhem and kill a whole bunch of people while looking exactly like him. So that's the real void styles that a lot of people like to reference. Although, like I said before, Styles being possessed by the Nogatsune is technically Void Styles too, to a certain extent. The Nogatsune using the image of Styles is the Void Styles we see in episode 23 when Allison dies and in episode 24 when all that chaos at the hospital and the school happens and the sheriff station and whatnot. So that is the third form of the Nogatsune explained essentially. Um, I know it's quite confusing for a couple of people um, but I kind of wanted to clarify that in this video, which is why the video was being made in the first place. So yeah, and then the final form, which is the brand new form we get introduced to in Teen Wolf, the movie. Um, this was kind of touched on by Jeff Davis as not being a hybrid form, but I don't know how it's not. 
um, because there's no other explanation for it. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And quite frankly, after Jeff Davis's statement of him not giving a damn about the canon in 2022, it's kind of hard to take anything he says at face value and kind of take it as like the truth when on screen, it's something that completely contradicts what he says um, in behind the scenes interviews with a whole bunch of different people, such as content creators and whatnot. So yeah, we're gonna go based off the movie and not his statement. So based off the movie, the Nogatsune explains that when Scott bit him at the end of season three, it physically altered the Nogatsune and changed him, which is why in Teen Wolf the movie, you see the Nogatsune's physical appearance with slight um, tweak to him. Like in the TV show, the Nogatsune didn't have uh, werewolf claws coming out of his uh, bandaged fingers, but in the movie he does. So there's a little small tweak to kind of hint that the Nogatsune is part werewolf now. So yeah, he is a hybrid, whether you want to admit it or not. Um, it is factually true by what we see in the movie that he is a hybrid. Otherwise they wouldn't have changed his physical appearance at all. And they wouldn't have shown that you know, especially at the end with what I'm about to get to, um, he wouldn't have had the need to, you know, do what he did. So when he explains to Scott that the bite changed him, he removes his mask and we see this ugly, grotesque, kind of fox wolf like kind of face. It's very disgusting and it's very hard to look at, but essentially what it is, it's it's the Nogatsune revealing that yes, he is part werewolf, making him essentially a hybrid. So yeah, that's the last form of the Nogatsune explained. And it doesn't say that he gets any like crazy power buffs. It's just that he has the additional strengths that a werewolf would normally have added on to his own, making him even more dangerous than he would normally be. So yeah, that's the final form of the, Nog of the Nogatsune um, explained. And that's all the forms of the no Good that we know about as of Teen Wolf the movie. So now that we've reached the end, I leave this question for you. Do you like the no Good Tsune forms? And if so, which is your favorite and which is your least favorite? For me personally, my favorite no Good Tsune form is of course the Void Styles form when he splits away from Styles because it's a physical change. You know, he's wearing a lot more like gray clothing. Uh, his skin gets darker, his, his gray skin. It just looks really cool. And my least favorite form is the newly revealed hybrid form of the Nogatsune. It looks really bad. There was a behind the scenes photo, which I'm pretty sure if you look, if you like search it up, uh, Team Wolf, the movie behind the scenes, you could probably find it. But the Nogatsune's original hybrid form looked 10 times cooler than the one we actually got. It was actually a practically built uh, wolf like um, animatronic that was built for the film. But I don't know if they got it to work properly or not with, you know, filming the scene. So they just scrapped it and went with, went with an entirely different look, which in my opinion, they should have went with the first look. It would have probably been received by fans way better, in my honest opinion. But all my social medias are linked in the description below if you want to follow or contact me. There is a Google form below where you can suggest any ideas for future content if that is something you're interested in as well. Don't forget to check out my book series, True Alpha. The first book is now available digitally on Amazon through Kindle. Chapter 11 is out now on Patreon and Chapter 12 will be released this Friday. The official True Alpha wiki is also linked below for questions about the verse. Anything you need to know about the series is on that OneNote wiki.